Hey friends, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about uh, types of embryonic cleavage that is holoblastic and neuroblastic cleavage and five different types of eggs that comes under uh, these two categories. Now when we study embryology, you know, it becomes really confusing sometimes if you don't have clear concept or if you don't remember what this holoblastic or myoblastic means and it has what type of uh, egg categorized under. So what we'll try in this video is I'll give you uh, an idea about what each of these terms means and in super easy way how you can remember the whole concept. With this brief introduction, let's begin today's video. Alright, so uh, we know that when a sperm fertilizes uh, egg, it results in the fertilization of egg and this egg will undergo series of mitotic division, right? The egg, the fertilized egg will undergo series of mitotic division and this uh, uh, division, you know, one egg cell will start dividing first into two cells and then into four cells and then eight and so on. This cleavage which is taking place that follows either the holoblastic pattern or the meroblastic pattern right the type of cleavage can be either holoblastic and meroblastic and that is specific for every species now here we are just going to have a general view as on what is holoblastic what is meroblastic and what type of eggs comes under these two categories now as we always do, you know, we are going to compare both these terms side by side so it becomes easy for us to clearly understand the difference and the examples. Now, holoblastic cleavage is a type of cleavage where the cleavage completely takes place in the egg. It's a complete cleavage. That means it is going to, you know, take place completely. It's a complete cleavage, something like this, okay? So this is called as the complete cleavage, holoblastic cleavage. And meroblastic cleavage is incomplete or partial cleavage. It is incomplete or partial cleavage. That means it is not going to take place completely. Now, why is this that complete and incomplete type of cleavage is occurring in the egg? The reason is because of the yolk content that is there in the egg. All right, now yolk is a bulky part that is present in the egg. Now, the types of eggs which has a very less amount of yolk, in that case, it is very easy for the cleavage to completely penetrate through the egg and completely takes place. But where there is very high yolk content in the egg, it is really bulky and it becomes really difficult for this cleavage to actually take place. So wherever there is high yolk content, it is not able to uh, penetrate completely and as a result, the partial or incomplete cleavage occurs. So that is why you have complete and incomplete. Complete because there is uh, less amount of yolk and it's very easy for the cleavage to take place but where there is very high amount of yolk yolk is really bulky so it is very difficult in such cases incomplete cleavage take place so holoblastic is complete cleavage where there is less yolk and meroblastic is incomplete cleavage where there is very high yolk all right now how you will remember this holoblastic is complete and meroblastic is incomplete this is logically uh, you know easy to understand where yolk is low it is complete and yolk is high it is incomplete logical enough but the term how you will uh, remember you know let's correlate this term when we say holoblastic cleavage it is complete cleavage okay now let's try and rhyme this particular word with whole hollow whole it rhymes kind of right whole means complete so there you go hollow is whole complete cleavage that means holoblastic cleavage is a type of cleavage which is a complete cleavage remember hollow for whole and the other one will be definitely miro the remaining that is incomplete I don't know how it sounds to you but this is how I used to remember uh, okay now let's come to types of eggs that we have all right now we know that based on this yolk content again we have uh, categorized eggs into five different groups that is based on the yolk content all right and those five groups are alacetyl isolacetyl mesolacetyl telolacetyl and centrolacetyl eggs based on the yolk distribution now what all these things mean 
first i will uh, tell you that and then we will uh, you know go again in detail as on like how you can remember it now a lecithin a type of egg where the yolk content is almost negligible all right it is almost like not present that less it is it is almost negligible so that is why it is called as a lecithin thus a lecithin isolecithal is a type of egg where the yolk content is very less again very less but it is evenly distributed evenly distributed throughout the egg and thus it is called as iso evenly distributed when you have mesolecithal here the amount of yolk content is very moderate okay very moderate amount of yolk content which is unevenly distributed so meso m stands for moderate amount remember and it is uneven iso is even but meso is unevenly distributed so alecithal almost negligible isolecithal very less evenly distributed mesolecithal moderate amount and unevenly distributed on the other hand you have now these three types of eggs here are uh, types of egg where there is very uh, less amount of yolk that we are talking about okay you can understand from the term itself Uh, as you know what the term describes the yolk content is really very low in this three case on the other hand you have telolecithal and uh, centrolecithal are the types of egg where you have really high amount of yolk present in the egg as the term says centrolecithal means high amount of yolk present in the center of the cell okay so it is very high amount of yolk located in the center of the cell whereas in case of telolecithal it is a type of egg where you have a high amount of yolk present in the vegetal pole of the egg now i hope we know these two terms vegetal pole and animal pole vegetal pole is a pole of egg where the yolk content is uh, you know concentrated or yolk content is present the opposite pole is called animal pole so vegetal pole is a pole where the uh, yolk content is uh, present so in telolecithal the yolk content is present at the vegetal pole it is not in the center it is at the vegetal pole all right so as you can see i have placed this three egg under holoblastic cleavage and these two types under meroblastic also after we understood the uh, difference between these terms we know that these two are high amount of yolk and high amount of yolk content egg follows incomplete cleavage or what is called as meroblastic cleavage whereas here there is very low yolk content so it is going to follow the complete cleavage or holoblastic cleavage now once again how are you going to remember that that these three follow under holoblastic and these two follow under meroblastic for that i'll give you one more trick that i used to remember this see look at this what i do is i remember it this way aim and tc where for me aim is you know i uh, you have a goal and you have aim you want to achieve something you are going to give complete effort right to achieve that particular thing so aim correlates to complete for me and that's why i know aim comes under the holoblastic cleavage and aim stands for alecithal isolecithal and mesolecithal the other one is tc that what i do is i remember one part and obviously the remaining part follows under the uh, other category so tc is incomplete so tc of course follows under incomplete so it so it follows meroblastic cleavage so that's how i remember aim and tc that's all you need to remember you have two types of cleavage holoblastic meroblastic holo for me is whole complete that means mero is incomplete and the logical reason behind complete incomplete is based on the yolk content because yolk is bulkier such kind of egg cannot follow complete and thus they are having incomplete cleavage pattern and the examples include aim aim is complete and tc that is incomplete so that's all for now i hope this was helpful and easy to understand do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning